when purchasing a GeezerWise PV water heating kit, you will receive the following. GeezerWise TSC one controller, thermal cutout, echo MPPT controller, DC cutout cable, 30 amp inline fuse, 1.5 meter element connector cable. You will also receive a stainless steel withdrawable element, 2 kilowatt AC, 900 watt DC, a stainless steel thermostat pocket. You will receive the requested flash plate, 5 volt picot flash plate, 6 volt picot flash plate, E-Tech flash plate or Frankie flash plate. You will receive 6 meters of solar cable red, 6 meters of solar cable black. You will receive the requested amount of power snap clips, roof tile brackets if necessary, and PV struts if necessary. For four PV panel connections, you will receive splitters for the parallel connections and a 1.5 meter jumper cable for the parallel connections. This is an illustration of how to connect a GeezerWise PV water heating system to a 200 litre geezer by using four PV panels. Firstly, ensure that the isolator switch is off and mount the GeezerWise power supply within arm's reach from the geezer. From the isolator, run a 2.5mm twin and earth into the GeezerWise power supply. Also use the compression gland supplied. The red wire will connect onto L1, black wire onto N1, and your earth wire onto the ground terminal. Also ensure that all of the top connections have also been tightened. From there off, you'll need to run another 2.5 twin in earth to the geezer. Those connections will be ground, which is your earth, red onto live 2, and black onto neutral 2. Run that cable to the element. And from there off, take your geezer wires, thermal cutout, connect your red wire from L2 onto the one side of the thermal cutout, and then your red wire from the element onto the other side of the thermal cutout. Ensure that those connections are tight. Once that has been done, connect your neutral 2 wire, which is your black wire, to your black wire from your element, which will be your neutral termination. There will be a black wire with a sleeve in around it connected to your thermostat, which will need to be plugged into the geezer wise power supply your display your mount below ceiling level there's a five meter extension cable on it that can be mounted on the wall cable run through the roof and that can be plugged into the geezer wise tsc1 power supply In this part of the video, we will be illustrating the DC connections for the GeezerWise PV water heating system. If using four PV panels, the panels will need to be connected. Series connection between two panels, series connections between two panels, and you will join the positives and the negatives together by means of the splitters provided to you by GeezerWise. From there off, you will run your cables, your red and your black cables, into the GeezerWise MPPT controller. Ensure that the polarity is being connected correctly, red onto PV positive, black onto PV negative, and also ensure that you use the fuse that would be provided to you. From there off, once your PV positive and negative connections have been connected, you need to connect your element connector cable red wire to your load positive connection and ensure that the connections are tight. Black wire onto load negative. 
this is marked on the MPPT controller. Also ensure with MPPT controller that you don't exceed 138 volts open circuit voltage. On the other side of the MPPT controller, you will see there's an Anderson connector and on the DC side of the element there will be an Anderson connector. All that needs to be done here, the one simply plugs into the other. And that is how you connect the hard wiring of the GeezerWise PV water heating system. When purchasing the GeezerWise PV water heating kit, you will receive a DC cutout cable. This DC cutout cable consists of three different ends, a 75 degree thermal cutout, two open ends, and a white plug. You will install this by taking the white plug and plugging the white plug into the primary connection of the GeezerWise TSC1 power supply. From there off, your two open ends will be connected into the remote terminals of the MPPT controller. This part is very important because if you don't connect this wire, your MPPT controller won't switch on. From there off, you will take your 75 degree cutout and you will slide that into the thermostat pocket. Directly after that, you will slide the GeezerWise thermal cutout into the thermostat pocket. Please note, when fitting the flange plate, the thermostat pocket has to sit at a 10 o'clock position. Ensure that the thermostat pocket is not right above the element. This will cause the geezer wires display to give out incorrect readings. From there off, ensure that your flange plate is bonded with your earth provided. This is an electrical installation. The most important part of any electrical installation is the earthing. Also ensure that your geezer is electrically bonded. Once you have completed all of your electrical connections, it's now time to switch on your GeezerWise PV water heating system. Switch on your isolator switch, then you will notice the display illuminates. It will show you the current water temperature and the current time. Now you can connect your DC side. On your DC side, simply close your fuse holder and you will notice that your MPPT controller display switch is on and a green light will flash. On your Echo MPPT display, you will see the PV voltage input, voltage to the element, current to the element, and wattage to the element. When this green light flashes, it means that the MPPT controller is currently heating. If you notice that the orange light is flashing. That indicates there's a problem with your DC cutout cable. So check for any breaks on your cable. There you note, the green light is flashing again. So that means our DC side's working perfectly and the element is drawing power. Now we can test our AC element. To test the AC element, you simply press the power button on the display, you'll notice three red water drops come on the display. Then you will take your AC clamp meter and you will clamp the AC wire. And you will notice that the element is drawing power, so that means our AC element is connected correctly. You can then switch off the electric element by pressing the power button. From there off, what you will need to do, you will need to fit the geezer wise cover and ensure it clips in and there's a screw that needs to be fastened on the inside. And also what you will need to do, you'll need to fit your element cover and also ensure that all covers are fitted and the electrical installation is safe you as the installer needs to ensure that 
people are not at risk of being shot. That's how easy it is to do a geyser-wise PV water heating installation.